would I introduce you, Eric? From your mouth. <laughs> and that's our show for the day. I don't get out much, Robin. You know, they let me they let me come talk to you and I do a program. I go home and I have to write another book. Are you stubborn? I went, no. And I resent that. I could see what happened to their chakras when a pretty girl came into the room. <laughs> the sex chakra goes, chung! Well, <laughs> say there's someone out there now watching this, this uh, chat with you and they're going, give me a break. Guides, to, yeah. yeah. That would be your say. ego. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that would be your ego, in yeah. which case, ask yourself if that ego is doing anything for you. Okay. Can you, in 10 words Absolutely. or less, describe what this is about? Absolutely. <laughs> this beautiful book. <laughs> Are you happy? Do you feel secure? Do you feel loved? Are you peaceful? Is your heart open? Are you fulfilling your purpose? Are you bringing light to the world? If so, then turn the TV off. <laughs> But if not, answer. if not, I am really not asking you to believe me. I am just suggesting you try a few of these things and do something really radical and actually trust your own spirit. After I'd had my leg amputated and I was trying to work out what to do with this, my um, first wife came in with a caftan and said, do you want to try wearing this? And this may well be a family show. Uh, the Greeks used to say, when you see more similarities and differences, you have infatuation. When you see more differences and similarities, you have resentment. When you have a perfect balance of similarities and differences, you have love. It was a magical world full of wonder, you know. It was, it was, it was like the Garden of Eden um, that could eat you at any time, you know. Are men or are women more open emotionally than men? Women are more emotionally open than men. For really? the most part. I do believe that, yeah. yeah. And they came across the Aka Pygmy from uh, Western Africa. Mm. So the men often do, if the babies are unsettled, grab them and, and put them on the breast to soothe them, and apparently it works. Bob Freeman said that you know, we can do that on our own. Mm. Uh, we'll, mm. you, you have to do better than that. Yeah. You know, and I sat there and thought, this man just blew off a million dollar mm. offer. Change is an uncomfortable process. No one likes to hear that. But when you're getting ready to change, you're breaking all of your emotional agreements with everything and everyone in your life. And you're no longer thinking and acting in predictable ways. And of course, that's taking a moving locomotive and putting on the brakes. And there is a loud screech that goes on with it. People are getting this sense of like a spiritual shift or a, a oneness shift. For well, sure. I mean, some of the indigenous cultures, the Mayan culture, etc., a lot of the Hopi Indians, they've been pointing to this time, from what I can understand. Right. We've got something concrete, though, with some of their, their um, ancient texts or whatever. We won't have. We won't no? have, because they're, they were not scientific people. What they said is that we will find this time in our history a time when we must come together as one to cooperate to survive the changes that Mother Earth is going to show us. Mm -hmm. And the kinds of changes they're talking about are it's a window of opportunity where humankind will either choose to step through that window and embrace a new way of being or will refuse to embrace that new way of being and possibly uh, not survive in this planet much longer. One of the things that I know has been a struggle is how to get this word out there. You got any good ideas of how to do this? The You're, knowledge that this you and Greg... This is what it's all about right now. Surely a woman who writes this has an absolute belief in the power of, and the you beauty. You know what? Let me, let me tell you something. Oh. This is what's true. What would be some last John D. Martini words to our viewers? So many people, because they have compared themselves to other people and then beat themselves up because they're not living up to what other people, or they, they expect other people, think about them. They beat themselves up. I'd say that no matter what you've done or not done, you're worthy of love. Thank you so much, Thank Carolyn. You. This could have been like 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Take care.